Hello friends, welcome back. We are studying the concept of area of structure. So in, in this concept, we are going to study one more technique that is how to sort an area of structure. So this video will cover sorting of area of structure. So for that, I have chosen this structure that is employee structure. It is having the field ID, name and salary. So just consider that suppose we have this many employees okay we have this many employees five employees and we are storing it in the form of array and we want to sort them okay i hope all of you know the meaning of sorting sorting means what arranging data in either ascending order or descending order okay uh, while studying array i already explained how to sort an array but at that time we saw how to sort a numerical array how to sort a string type of array but here we are going to study how to sort an array of structure means basically we are going to sort this employee data now how sorting of an array of structure is different than numerical sorting or string type of sorting so basically whenever you are performing numerical sorting you have just one single value in an array that you want to sort but whenever we are sorting array of structure we have to decide on which field we want to sort see we have a three field we can't do a sorting on entire structure we have to decide on which field i want to sort okay either we can sort by id either we can sort by name or we can sort by salary so whenever you are going to write a logic for sorting an array of structure we have to decide on which field and in which order means either in ascending order or in descending order so here we will see how to sort an employee array on ascending order of salary on ascending order of salary means i want to sort this entire array based on the ascending order of salary means record of ddd 105 ddd and 25000 will appear first because the salary is less and we are sorting in ascending order and this record 104 bbb and salary is 90000 since this is the highest salary this record will appear at the end means at last position okay so in my previous videos of sorting i already explained you how to sort the data and here also we are going to use the same technique that is we are using selection sort okay definitely if you know the other techniques you can use it the basic things remain same you have to decide on which field you want to sort and then after you have to apply that logic that's it so here we are going to sort it by selection sort technique so in selection sort technique what we do we basically compare the value at zeroth position with rest of the records in array so this is the value at zeroth position okay this is my zeroth position record right this is at first position this is at second position this is at third position and this is fourth position so what will i do in the first iteration i'll compare data at zeroth position with all the elements in the array so we are going for ascending order right so here is 30,000 is less than 50,000? Yes, it is less than 50,000. So what I have to do? I have to move this entire record. Okay, remember this thing. I have to move this entire record at zeroth position. So transfer this record at zeroth position and whatever there is at zeroth position, move it to the first position means basically we are doing swapping okay but remember this thing that you are not going to swap the salary you are going to swap the entire record if you swap the salary then what happened the salary of a will be assigned to x and salary of x will be assigned to a that will be wrong right so you you will compare on single field but you will swap an entire record 
so that is the only thing you have to take care of otherwise the sorting of array of structure is same as that of numerical sorting okay so let us write a code so in the same way you will proceed as say means after swapping 30000 with 50000 or this entire record what happened this 30000 record will be at zeroth position okay then you will compare that zeroth position record with second position record then whatever is there at zeroth position it will be compared at third position whatever there is at zeroth position will be compared at fourth position so in first iteration you will get a smaller record at its proper position okay then after you have to compare the record at first position with rest of the records so this process continues so for your reference i'll attach the link of that uh, numerical array sorting in the description below so you can refer it for better understanding okay so let us write logic for this so we are not going to return anything so return type will be void let us call our method as sort by salary it will accept an array of structure of type employee so we have to specify the data type that is struct employee so let us name our array as e and say we have n number of records to sort so this is our method prototype or function prototype so here basically we need two pointers this is your i and this is your g okay so for that i have to declare two variables say for sorry we have to declare two variables say int i comma g okay then after we need to do a swapping of a record okay and as i said we have to swap the entire record so for swapping we need a temporary variable right since we are swapping an entire record my temporary variable will be also of type structure right so say truck struct employee temp okay so declaration part is completed now now we are going to write a for loop we need a nested for loop so first of all let us write outer loop as i told you we have to compare zeroth position record with all the records in an array okay so here my loop will start with 0 and terminate at n minus 1 it will terminate at n minus 1 okay so y up to n minus 1 basically the outer loop in outer loop what happens you will compare zero position record with all the records first position record with all the record second position record with these two records second last record this record will be compared with this one and this record is not going to be checked with any other record because there are no records after this okay so that's why we are going till n minus one means less than one position means up to second last position in this case my value of n is five so i'll go till three only okay why three because i said less than three remember this thing then inner loop will be there for j is equal to whatever is the value of i that plus one okay and it goes till end of the array so that's why j less than n and j plus plus now why j is i plus one okay in selection sort what happened as i told you zeroth position record will compared with 
first, second, third, fourth. Then in the next iteration, first position record will be compared with second, third, fourth. Okay, because after each and every iteration, we will get a element at its proper position. Means after first iteration, you will get smaller element at its proper position. So there is no need to compare that record. That's why wherever our array is, we will start from plus one value of that array. Sorry. So the next thing is we have to write a comparison statement. As I said, we want to sort by ascending order of salary. Okay, so always remember the outer loop variable that is i is representing previous position. Okay, and j is the next position. When we want to swap, when i position value is greater than j position value in case of ascending order. Okay, so here I have to say if our array name is e. E of i, as I said, it is previous position. Comparison is based on salary. So, E of i dot salary is greater than E of j dot salary. Then we want to do swapping. Okay. So, swapping will be temp is equal to E of i semicolon. E of i is equal to E of j semicolon and e of j is equal to temp okay and uh, since there is no space that's why i'm writing on the single space single line uh, you can write this three statement on three different line that's it so this is our inner for loop closing this is outer and then after our function get close okay and i hope you remember that we can use assignment operator on structure this will copy the entire element to another element. You do not have to do element by element copy. Okay. Now, let us run this program in code blocks and we'll observe the output. So, I already wrote a program in code blocks. Okay. The file name is struct array sort. So, this is our employee structure. And this is our function. Okay. So here it is accepting array of employee. And then size of the array. So according to the selection sort logic is written. Okay. And here the swapping part. And from the main function. As you can see. The function is called that sort by salary function is called but before that we declare again a structure of employee we accepted five records from the user and then we give call to the function which is accepting array of employee and the size of the array so here our size of the array is five that's why i passed the five and after sorting we printed the records okay so let us check this to say salary, sorry, ID is 101. Say name is EPAA. -E. Say salary is 50,000. Then 102. XXX. Say salary is 30,000. 103. Say NNN. Salary is 45,000. Then say 104. Say DD. DDD. Salary is say 90,000. 105. Y, Y, Y. Salary is 60,000. So this is our output. See, first of all, uh, the record that is 102, as you can see here, it is having less salary, right? It appears first. Then after this 45,000 record, then 50,000 and last, at the last, 
the DDD record. And if you observe carefully, swapping of entire record is done, right? Okay, so again, it's quite easy if you know the basic technique of sorting. Just you have to decide on which field you want to sort, but you have to swap an entire record while performing the sorting. Now, what about if I want to sort by any string value? Okay, here it was numerical sorting, right? So, we put a comparison operator. So here we put a comparison operator, but suppose we want to sort it by name or department, any string field. In that case, what we have to do? We have to use string compare function. So I'm just going to write it here. I'll just comment this part. Let us write that part here. E. Then you have to specify the string comparison function. So I'm doing case insensitive comparison. That is ignoring the case. So that's why I specify strcmpi. Then e of i dot name comma e of i sorry e of j dot name. Okay. What string compare function does? If both the strings are equal, it will give you zero. If first string is greater, it will give you positive value. And if second string is greater, it will give you negative value. So we want to do sorting in ascending order. So if first string is greater, then it should be shifted to a lower part of the array, right? So I have to write a condition such a way that if answer of string compare function is greater than zero, that means first string is greater. So that is the only change you have to do for performing or for sorting array of structure based on string type of data. For this, you have to include, remember one thing, you have to include string dot h, then only this code will work. So it is my request that just try to execute this code using for string comparison. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you have any doubts or comments, you can definitely write it to the comment section. Thank you for watching.